percent of Ram trucks in each model year 2003 to 2016 are still on the road today, based on a July 1st, 2017 snapshot of IHS market BIO registration data. Call 1877 Ram 5722 for details. Requires dealer contribution at least through Ally Financial. 20 cent charge for each mile over 30,000. Bowser, Mrs. Bowser, or oh, or oh, do oh, do oh. TiVo man, oh yeah, TiVo man, I'm working on your shit, TiVo man. I know you wanted to see it, TiVo oh, man. The very first is back, yeah. So as you guys know, I'm just fooling around cleaning out the old garage here, and check out the first generation Ben. What's up? I mean, look how far we've come. Yeah, real simple, uh, TiVo, man. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I just think that this is so funny. You know, this is some old stuff here, guys. Um, this might be the, yeah, 2008 also. It's all 08. The only thing I use quite, like, still use from this group is I, I use this a lot. Instead of weed whacking some, like, bigger, thicker weeds, I usually give this to Juan. And this thing will cut those weeds down like a nothing. So, instead of using it as a hedge trimmer, I like using it. If I can somehow find this thing cracked off of it. But, it's so light you can use it with one hand. And, uh, I'm tell you, some thick straw, some thick weeds, even like poison ivy, you kind of don't want to get it on your weed whip. These old freaking hedge trimmers. Hey, Luca. Yeah, dur a Dremel, not a Dermal, right? You're talking about you got you a Dremel, not a Dermal. Unless you're missing. Ron, what's up, brother? 08 stuff. So, 10 years old, man, it's coming up upon, but... I figured I'd just do a quick vid and, and we can laugh. I mean, look at this. What the heck is this, man? This is a weed whacker. I mean, this is vintage, man. Still works, too, believe it or not, but I think it works. It should work. How's the wall? Do, do, do. I got a 9 amp hour battery on that sucker right now. And I'll tell you, it's still pretty light. I'd say it's still, with the 9 amp hour battery, I bet you it's still a little bit lighter than a Makita. But, um, yeah, so, what's up, Logan? Yeah, Ryobi, had, I actually had the Ryobi chainsaw. That one busted. It busted, and I gave it to my father-in-law. Um, he used it actually to cut four by four um i don't know if he still has it or not but uh yeah it, it, the motor just got burnt out yeah hey nick nick hill so yeah first generation actually this probably isn't even the first this stuff's probably been out since like 2005 but uh this thing is actually cool too i uh, you know it, it, it'll blow. It'll definitely blow, if you know what I mean. But, you know, there's no CFM. It has such a small... What's up, 94? You know, this is like a, more of like a, um, a broom or like a sweeper. It blows really hard, but you're not getting any type of CFM out of it. You kind of got to point it right at what you're blowing it at. But I use it. I use it to, you know, sometimes clean my blowers out. When you have a battery on it, it you can kind of keep it out of the way a little bit. But, hey, hon. It's hot, right? Oh, I, I, I didn't drink anything today. You better get something to drink there, Charlie. Yeah, so. What's up, Kevin? Yeah. My man, Paul River. Good dude there. Good dude. But, um... Yeah, so that's about it. I figured you'd get a little kick out of this old school power equipment. Just looking, looky, looky. 
And I tell you what, if you can find, you know, one of these at a garage sale or something, and you guys still have the piece here, this hedge trimmer, I'm telling you, hedge trimmers in the lithium ion category, you know, this, this thing worked great. You know, obviously they've come a long way since this one, but this thing is light as heck, but, you know, with some thicker stuff, but like I said, I'm thinking using the DeWalt blower to clear a paved trail for cycling. <laughs> hey, Howard, what's up? Howard, your stuff went out today, Howard. Mr. McLean is a TrueBalls44.net winner. Yeah, 88. Oh, it's been so hot, dude. Oh, it's funny. Ben, I have some footage of that today. That's what I, I had to do a, another cleanup today. Um... And I had to bring out the MS-170. Great, great saw. Great, you know, again, 179 bucks. I might, you might have paid 199 I don't know, but nice, light, powerful chainsaw. Um, you know, some of these chainsaws that are awesome, listen, they look great. But you're paying a premium. You know, you're definitely paying a premium. So you have to, you know... See if it's worth it for you. See either you're going to pay up front for the power. You know, you got the battery. So you don't got to worry about, you know, two-cycle mix, gas. You know, if you use it a lot, it'll probably work out for you. But if not, Steel, Echo, they make some good chainsaws. Uh, Husqvarna, Ben paid 179 Yeah, 94 GT, he's in Cali. So I don't know, I think it's like 75 degrees there all year long. Just right down below when leaves. Yeah, so that's about it, boys. We're making some progress here. Progress. I got an opening. We got a wide opening here. So I think we're... I think I'm going to move this little setup to here. Try to get it in there somehow. It's tough with these backpack blowers. And, um, you know, pack out. Do the pack out, man. Right around here. I might put this over here. Tool bugs in the house. Home from school. Dad, this is so cool. It's so clean. This is clean? Oh, my God. That's clean. This is not clean at all. Yes, it? it is. It's better than I used to. Cut my leg on this. Oh, uh, that's because I don't have the mowers in here. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. well, we have to take all this down. Yeah, TiVo. I should have. I, I want to have that. Um, the impact wrench video up tonight for you. But we'll see. We'll see what we got to go in. I got some old golf clubs here. Two bugs. <laughs> I love this. She needs to get on a chair. I love it. And I gotta put that video up. You didn't put it up yet? No, I didn't do it. I'm going to switch it off. But everyone have a great day. Again, quick little video. That's about it. I'll catch you on the flip.